good morning everyone so we are in presentation on water resource engineers for civil engineering students myself i from department of civil engineering welcome you all for this talk this is a subject for final year students we need our engineering our topic is today water power engineering let's see what is meant by water power engineering generally you people might have an idea regarding what is meant by water power engineering water is nothing but hydro hydro engineering hydro power hydro is nothing but from power is taken from water that comes to water power engineering let's see regarding that the general features of water power engineering are they can be the various sources from which energy can be derived are fuel coal fuel oil atomic fuel water rivers canals wind and ocean waves and tides through this we could abstract energy the use of water power by crude devices dates back to ancient times the primitive wheels including the chinese nora or float wheel built of bamboo with oven pedals are still in use along with the modern development of hydraulic turbines yes india has water power potential of about all over 41 million kilowatts 41 million kilowatts is a huge count out of which 4.4 million 4.4 million kilowatts almost about 11% I almost over 11 percentage was exploited by 1966. Perhaps the first hydroelectric work in India was undertaken in 1897 near Darjeeling. We should be clear that near Darjeeling under 1980 1897. The state of Mysore constructed in which was later increased to 42,000. kilowatts tata's constructed kapoli hydroelectric works of capacity 72000 kilowatts and bihar scheme at 1927 they have come up with a capacity of 110000 kilowatts during the period between two world wars they have done some hydroelectric schemes were taken by various states they include Jogendranagar hydroelectric scheme of 48000 kilowatts Ganga canal power station of about 17400 kilowatt Baikara hydroelectric scheme of 38750 kilowatt mature hydroelectric scheme where that comes to 30000 kilowatts and Kilivasal scheme of 13500 kilowatt after second world war and before independence only two hydro electric installations were done they are known as papanasam and the next one is jog of 48000 kilowatts were made after independence india has made significant progress in hydro power development increasing from 0.5 million kilowatts in 1947 to 4.4 million kilowatts by the end of 1966 that's a huge progress we have to be very glad of that the plant capacity by type of plant by the end of 1966 are let's see what are those hydro they have differentiated hydro stream oil 
to the respective year of what was the count they have made, the capacity they have installed. In 1950, hydro that comes to 0 0.56. At 1955, 0 0.94. From 1960 to 1961, almost one year, that is 1.85. And 1965 to 1966, it is 4.4. .4. Okay, coming to stream, it is. It 1950, 1955, 1960 to 1961, 1965 to 1966. I'll read continuously, just go through 0 0.56, 0 0.94, 1.85, 4.44 Hydra. Next, coming to stream 1.59, 2.27, 3.40, 0 0.62 for stream. Next, for oil, it is. 0 0.15, 0 0.21, 0 0.33, and 0 0.4. It's for oil. Let me total for everything in the years with respect to all three products of hydro stream oil at the respective years 1950 is 2.3. By the year 1955, the total is 3.42. By the year 1962 1961, the total would be around. 5.58 1965 to 1966 the total is 11 let's see what are the types of water power developments there are there may be few of types of water power development to develop some power through water we have some types let's see upon that okay the water power development is essentially to utilize the available power in the fall of a river or a canal through a portion of its course by means of hydraulic turbines. A water power development scheme is known as hydraulic scheme or briefly as hydel scheme. The hydel plants uh, can be classified according to their function as follows okay what are they saying the water power can be extracted from river or canal to the portion of its course by hydraulic turbines we use hydraulic turbines to extract power from water this is known as hydroelectric scheme or hydel scheme okay they are as follows the types are runoff river plants storage plants pumped storage plants these three are main types of water power development by use of turbine they extract power okay coming to firstly runoff river plants runoff power plant river plants are those which utilize the river flow having no bondage at its upstream a weir or barrage is constructed across the river simply to raise in the case of a perennial river which has a minimum dry weather flow of such magnitude which makes the development worthwhile. Runoff river plants are of two types. They are also subdivided into two types those that utilize the varying flow and those that operate on the minimum variable discharge and work through the air they will take some available discharge and they will work throughout the air in some cases small storage or bondage is provided in such plants for tiding over hourly fluctuations of load when the available rate of flow at the site is in excess of demand the excess water can be temporarily stored in the pond on the upstream side of the river Yes, it's a fine great idea to catch up the power use the help of runoff river plants okay the pondage can be utilized during the peak demand only during the peak demand pondage can be used for extracting power from the water with the help of runoff riverside plant type to of uh, which is on the hydroelectric scheme next one is storage plants Such a plant has a storage reservoir at its upstream 
a demand is constructed across the river a plant has a storage reservoir is upstream a, dim, a dam is constructed across the river and the water is stored during the period of excess supply the storage to take care of fluctuations of the river supply the, the load enhances the ability of hydel plant in india most of the major plants are of the category okay what they are saying is nothing but the storage plant from the storage plants also we could get power water power okay generally in the upstream side of the reservoir we will have an a dam constructed over that whenever there is excess of water that would be stored in the dam and when they are necessary they will get the gates are opened and people would get benefit from the water okay the storage take care of fluctuations of the river supply uh, the load enhances the utility of a hydel plant in india there are more major plants of this category yeah what they have said is right pumped storage plants a pumped storage plant stores power in the form of potential energy of water the scheme consists of a storage the scheme consists of a storage used to generate power only during the peak hours of demand yes okay let me repeat it again from the starting of pumped storage plants they are saying the pumped storage plant stores power in the form of potential energy of water the scheme consists of water storage reservoir at the higher level and turbine compound installation the scheme is used to generate power only during the peak hours of demand and is meant for assisting an existing thermal plant okay during the peak demand water flows from the reservoir to the turbine and power is generated during of peak hours excess power is available from the thermal plant or from any other hydro plant this storage reservoir at the higher elevation of water is thus stored this stored water is utilized again during peak hours and supplementing the power supply of the existing thermal power station or any other hydro plant in such a scheme no water is wasted is yes, what they are saying is exactly right they are the storage pumps means pump storage plants are nothing but they stores water whenever the water is required using the help of turbine pump they leave the water when the diversion process of going water to the needed people with the help of turbine they generate some power and it is also stored during of the peak of peak hours additional cost of pumping plant can be saved by using the newly developed machines which are designed to work as turbine as well as pump similarly generator the motor is provided instead of separate motor to run the pump and generated to say from the variable mechanical energy of the turbine by such a scheme the load factor of system is much much improved again this is a pumped storage plant let's have a look on that how it is yes this is of the upper reservoir from this the water flows here from the top to bottom and here we will have the turbine pump pump so here the generator motor here the power is generated and it is stored if you have any queries regarding the topic that we have discussed today on the types of power water power generator please have a queries thanks for watching dbs talks thank you one and all